Good afternoon, everyone. I'm John Rahans, and welcome to another session with Java with John. Thanks for joining me today, and I have two special guests with me. I have Paula Ferguson, the president of the board of directors, and I also have Becky Cole, who's the chair of the master planning committee. And ladies, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate your time. For those of you just tuning in, we are maskless today. And you know me, I always tell everyone, wear your mask, wash your hands, social distance. But we are socially distancing ourselves today and we want to make sure you can hear our message in this interview clearly today. So thanks for bearing with me. So Paula, I'd like to start with you. I know one of our board goals this year was to commence with the strategic plan and it sounds like we're doing that. Yes, I think it was important that we finally accomplish uh, some information from our homeowners as far as what they felt was important that we start working on as far as some major projects. Also what we need to do as far as trying to pull in new homeowners and get everybody involved, not just the board making decisions or our committees, but we want to hear the input from our homeowners. It's so important that we get that input. That's great. Thank you. Becky, I know you're the new chair of the Master Planning Committee, and I know why Paula pointed you is you are a go-getter. And so I know you've got your committee focused in on that strategic plan survey this year. We do. This uh, 2021, that is our number one goal. We have talked about this in years past, and uh, this year it's going to happen. We finally are thrilled to death with the support of Paula and the board and with Blue Star and the management, and the, the Master Planning Committee is all on board, ready awesome. to go. That's great. Thanks for your leadership. Now, Paula, why is it important for our community to have a strategic plan? Well, I think, you know, we all need to be kind of on the same page a little bit. So we need to know what our homeowners expect as far as our community. We want to keep our community alive. We want to keep the community excited so that we can go forward and everybody can continue with their lifestyle that they would like to participate in all of the wonderful amenities that we have here. I agree, and it's so important for us as the management company and as the board of directors as we look forward to five, 10, 15 years out so we have a direction and a plan to accomplish all of our goals. And Becky, that leads me to another question for you. What is your hope in terms of what you expect the strategic plan will derive for you as the chairman of the Master Planning Committee? Great question. I think that uh, it's going to be necessary and essential for us to uh, plan for the future because the buyers right now have certain desires and needs and wants and the people who have been here for 15 uh, years or whatever have their goals in mind, but we also have new people coming in five to 10 to 15 years from now and we need to know how to plan for that so we can stay relevant, so we can keep our home values up and we can be, uh, because we're an aging community here, we need to stay relevant and find out what the latest things are and what people really want to do. So we're hoping this survey has great participation and that we hear from a lot of people about their desires and wants. That's great. And that leads me to the next question, Paula, is why is it vital that we get that membership participation in the strategic plan survey? Well, if we do not get a good response, it's not going to service our purpose. So I hope that each and every homeowner, and by the way, you can have two surveys if there's two of you in the household, because your opinions differ a little bit. And so everybody should sit down. It's going to take you maybe about 30 minutes to take the survey and fill it out. And please let us know what you're thinking, because this is so important to us, as Becky says, for our future, not just for today, but down the road for five years from now. That's great. Thank you, Paul. And Becky, I know you're a promoter. This is what you do. What are we doing to encourage our homeowners and residents to participate in the survey? We're really uh, putting a lot of effort into that right now. Michelle has been working with the unit captain chairs to make sure that we have a good list of emails from as many homeowners as possible. The unit captains are also being asked to communicate with their 
residents to find out if there are more than one, if there's more than one person in the household, can we get that second email address so that everybody can participate? Also, the HOA is, is going to be sending out the postcard to the homeowners as a reminder, so be looking for that in your uh, mailbox. And if you do not get emails right now, then please get a hold of Michelle at the communications department and get that information into her hand because that survey is coming out and we need to have it as soon as possible. That's great. And Paula, when is that survey going out? I believe everybody should expect it uh, first part of January, January 4th. I think is the due date as far as uh, you probably will be receiving it very shortly and January 4th, sit down and fill that out as soon as you get it because if you just go past it, you will forget to go back and fill it out. And there is a deadline, I believe, of January 22nd. So you've got a little time, but I find that if I don't sit down and fill that out as soon as I see it, I may forget about it. And so we want at least over 60% return. It'd be nice to have 100%, but 60%? I don't think that's asking too many people to sit down and fill that survey out. Terrific, thank you, Paula. All right. And I wanna make sure our community understands the importance of the survey, and that is so we can plan our future. I also wanna make it clear that this is not your membership satisfaction survey that you've gotten in the past. This is indeed a different survey that you've never seen before. So please, we encourage you to take the time, fill it out thoughtfully and get it back to us and meet those deadline dates. So ladies, thank you so much for participating in Jobs with John. I appreciate your time and help. Thank you all for joining me with another session with Jobs with John. I want to wish you a happy Hanukkah, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And let's make 2021 a great year. Stay safe.